Section C1 and 2 has to do with how your blood sugar is affecting your brain function. So low blood sugar causes your energy to drop, you get shaky, irritable, lightheaded, um, you actually feel energized after you eat, etc. Um, you may be depending on coffee to get you going, but then you get agitated or you feel easily upset or nervous between meals. That means that you're hypoglycemic, your blood sugar is too low, and your brain thinks you're going to die. Um, and then section two, C2 has to do with insulin dysregulation, being fatigued after meals, craving sweets and sugars, uh, needing stimulants after your meals because your eating actually makes you tired, um, your waist is um, bigger compared to your hip, um, your uh, weight has gained, you're having difficulty falling asleep. These have to do with insulin dysregulation. Then section 1S has to do with serotonin production. Serotonin is the um, neurotransmitter that Paxil and Prozac seek to recycle. And if you're answering anything um, more than about 10 or 11 on Section 1S, you definitely need some serotonin support. Section 2D has to do with dopamine. Um, this is your ability to finish tasks, to be inspired, to handle your... Um, if you have addiction issues, more than likely you need some dopamine. If you have trouble sticking to a program, more than likely you need some dopamine. Uh, Section 3G has to do with GABA. GABA is the chill pill. It helps you chill out, relax, calm down, see things clearly, organize yourself, switch, switch your mind off in order to relax and so forth. And then Section 4 has to do with a uh, an amino acid called acetylcholine, which is like fuel for your neurons. It helps your brain neurons talk to each other. When I study with my mentors, I keep a bottle of acetylcholine um, right in front of me and I take one every hour just to make sure that my brain is working and I'm going to remember that stuff. Mm, nice tip. So acetylcholine helps, helps you focus and stay concentrated. Right. Excellent. Okay. I didn't even know you had pills, I could take pills like that. Okay, um, folks, we, we, we certainly cannot cover all these questions. Like, <laughs> it looks like you've just touched on a hot button here, um, and then I'll be just... <laughs> okay. There's an issue well, that, that touches every, everybody at a, in, a, in a real spot. Um, what I'm going to say is that uh, for those of you whose questions have not been answered or will not be answered tonight, we have created the, the comment section on our site. So if you go back, you can click on um, the banner and you can put in your comments there and, and uh, we will be sure that I will do my best to go back and, uh, and answer as many questions as I can. Well, we appreciate that. We really do. Thank you. All right, um, here, 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 I'm just, I'll take a few more questions here. Okay. I, uh, I apologize, I missed out on most of the call because I got messed up on the time. Well, sorry about that. Uh, but I was wondering if prolonged stress for years affects your body many years later, even though the majority of the stress has ended. My body feels more stressed or more messed up now that, that it, it has ended than when I was grow, going through it. And I am very sensitive towards food and stress now. Yes. Um, yeah, it's sort of a rebound effect. Because your body is tuned for, programmed for survival, it will get you through those very stressful times. It will do its best to get you through those very stressful times. And then when the stress is over, it needs you to rest. It needs you to give it the time to recover. It needs you to feed it properly. It needs you to uh, relax and meditate. Um, so yes, it is not at all uncommon for people to get through very high stressful periods and then fall apart when the stress is over. Hmm. The rebound effect. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Well, we have a lot. We have lots of people saying fantastic. Thank you so much. This is someone says this is the most fantastic presentation. Thank you. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. Um, just a little advertisement here. Please feel free to go to my uh, website, and um, and there those forms will also be on my website. Or there's a link to email me. I'm happy to send you the forms there as well. Great. And is there anything you want them to specifically, any parts that you, you want them to pay attention on your website? Uh, um, that, do you have a training thing going on? And, and now, if, yes? you to, if you want to give me the address to your website right now, I'll put it on the It's anelnorman.com. Anelnorman.com. Yeah, it's okay. anelnorman.com. Okay, mm -hmm. um, one of the There is a link on that website to another website called surviveandthrivekits.com. We are in the beginnings of flu season, and uh, the people who are particularly interested in stress because they are stressed are more likely to suffer from the flu. And on Survive and Thrive Kits, we offer some alternatives to the influenza vaccine um, immunization and some ideas of ways to protect yourself. And there's also a link on that website, surviveandthrivekits.com, to our flu blog that we put together last year during the H1N1 uh, flu scare. Oh, that's great. So people can actually get to go there and hear, see your comments and, and right. connect with other people as well. Right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, folks, we strongly encourage you to go to anelnorman.com to get some of to, to to participate and to glean more wisdom Obviously, one hour just doesn't do just doesn't do it. So, please go to that website and, and get some more information. Surviveandthrivekits.com, correct? Someone's asking. Correct. About. Okay. Do you work long distance with people? I certainly do. Skype is wonderful, <laughs> even if you don't have Skype, uh, which makes um, makes it be like you're in my office and I'm in your uh, home. Um, if you don't have Skype, then I can do phone consultations as well. I can order blood work uh, and saliva tests all over the country, and uh, we can work together just as easily as if you live in my neighborhood. Excellent. Excellent. I'm sure some people will take you up on that. All right. We're going to wrap it up right now. Um, Anel, thank you so, so much. And thank I'm you, sure. and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Next time we're going to get you on to, I and mean, this time we, we'll have a video of you. We'll show the video. Right. We <laughs> <laughs> have a few issues there. Yeah, and next time maybe we can talk about um, uh, some alternatives to antibiotics and uh, vaccines and so forth, ways that people can take care of them, themselves when they're ill. Excellent. Excellent. And you know how many slides we want for that, right? Like a hundred. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, David. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sherry. This was lots of fun. I enjoyed every minute. Hi. Right, thank you. Thank Good night. You. Good night. night. All right, folks. Uh, we will be sending you emails. Uh, just if, if you would like to take advantage of the, uh, if you would like to get the recording, and I think the slides. We'll talk with the nail about the slides. So you guys have a great night and a great weekend and a great Thanksgiving. Well, we do have a few webinars next week, so we, we, should, we should see you before Thanksgiving. Take care. God bless. Have a great night.